Welcome to episode 5 of Microbrews, my new video series on how to make the best use of a microscope in your home or craft brewery. In this episode, we will be demonstrating how to align the illumination optics of your microscope. This is a critical part of microscopy and determines the quality and contrast in your images. This process should be performed before every microscopy session to ensure you always get the best quality results that your microscope is capable of. For this video, I'm going to assume that you know how to focus on your sample and switch lenses. If you are unfamiliar with these processes, please watch episodes 3 and 4 of Microbrews. I'm also assuming you have a microscope with a field diaphragm and an Abbey condenser. Aligning your light source is critical for generating good images. It serves three purposes. It ensures even illumination across your sample. It eliminates any variations in brightness due to the shape of your bulb or filament. And it maximizes the contrast in your image, which is really important when it comes to being able to make out small features like bacteria. The first step is to focus on your sample using your lowest magnification objective lens. If you don't know how to do this, please watch episode 3 of Microbrews. Next, you need to focus the condenser on the field diaphragm. This will ensure that your sample is evenly lit and that the light will efficiently move from the sample to the objective lens. The first step in focusing the condenser is to close the field diaphragm by rotating the knob around the illumination source. If your system is near alignment, a hexagon should appear in the image. If it's poorly aligned, an indistinct bright point should appear. The next step in the alignment process is to refine the focus of the condenser onto the field diaphragm. This ensures that we are not focused on the bulb or LED array, which can create regions of brighter and darker illumination. To focus, turn the knob attached to the condenser until the bright point in the image is a sharp-edged hexagon. You don't have to close this down the full way to do this, you just need it closed down enough to be able to see the edge of that hexagon. What we've done here is we've focused on the field diaphragm, which makes sure that we're not focused on our light source. We then want to center uh, the illumination into the center of the objective lens. To do this, turn the adjustment screws located on either side of the condenser to move the hexagon to the center of your field of view. This now means that we are focused on the field diaphragm and we have centered our light source in the middle of the objective lens. If you need to, tweak the focus of your condenser as you're moving the hexagon in order to ensure that everything stays aligned. You then want to open up the field diaphragm until the edge of the hexagon disappears from the field of view. You don't want to open it beyond this point because that can reduce your contrast. Congratulations, you've now aligned your condenser. That said, for the best images, you should actually tweak this every time you change magnification. After changing lenses, simply close down your field diaphragm and make sure that it's focused and centered. And if it isn't, make the adjustments you need to bring it back into position. Now you know how to align your microscope's light path to produce the best images possible. Assuming you've watched the four episodes before this, you're now ready to use your microscope in your brewery. So join me in episode six to learn how to prepare a basic wet mount of your yeast and other brewery organisms.